I need TikTok to do its thing. Um, so we celebrate with our family on Christmas Eve. And my grandmother got my nine-month-old son this toy remote. Okay. Um, she purchased this at Walmart. <clears throat> so we put batteries in it, give it to my son, like not paying any attention. Well... Then my mom hears something and she calls us all in and she's like, it just said something about a drive-by shooting. I'm like, there's no way. So, let me see if I can get this quickly enough. It says on the box. It tells jokes. How many Catholic priests are required to screw a light bulb into its socket? Two. One to do the screwing and one to hear the confession. What? What? A kid's toy. There's a baby on the box. Kids toys apparently uh, telling some filthy jokes after they count and go through the ABCs. This one particular woman was exposing this particular toy from a company called Lindsay, I believe. Uh, but she bought it for a nine month old baby and apparently uh, their kids first words are gonna be something filthy. Uh, so this one particular company said, wait, what? what's going on? Apparently they sell it at Walmart amongst other places, but has been pulled from those shelves after these reviews and outcry then began. But there were more jokes, let's watch more. Let's see what else. Tom told his friend, my brother has a job with 10,000 people under him. His friend replied, wow, he must be the CEO of a corporation. Tom said, no, he cuts the grass in a cemetery. Okay, kind of funny, but still, for a baby, it gets worse. Do you know why the chicken... A man and his son were riding in the car. You'll Jesus. never guess what makes a clip-clop, clip-clop, bang, bang, clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop noise. An Amish drive-by shooting. Sold at Walmart. Walmart, explain this. Okay, so the toy is one for three right now because the, uh, the working with... Tons of people under you at the cemetery. You know, as she admitted herself, I mean, that was kind of good. But still, not available for any one year old uh, that's going to be listening to their ABCs and one, two, threes. Uh, there was also more. She, people were doubting whether or not this was real. Maybe, you know, she had some kind of technological advancement and she was able to input these dirty jokes with some other person's voice computerized in this machine. I'm not sure what they thought was happening, but she was looking to prove them wrong. One more thing from her, trying to show her, uh, her valid argument. Here is the box. Baby, here's the model number. Um, it does say three plus on the box, but it says because it's because of the batteries or small parts. Um, right here, joke, interesting story. It is helpful for the baby to learn cultural knowledge and play. I knew a guy who, how many Catholic Tom told his friend, do you know a man and his son? You'll never guess what makes a, an elementary school teacher. A lawyer was an eyewitness to a three. The Easter Bunny, an honest lawyer, Santa Claus, and a drunk find a $50 bill together. Can you guess who gets to keep it? Of course it's the drunk, because the other three don't exist. Bye bye. So that's the one that got me actually upset because it's Christmas. Bye bye. No, those don't exist. Easter Bunny, Santa Claus. Uh, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of want one of these. I'm sorry to say. Really fast, Ben. Let's go down to graphic five. Uh, there's one theory that someone has as to how this whole thing happened. Uh, someone says I work in the software development. 100% bet some developers copied and pasted jokes as a joke but then forgot to delete them from the actual machine itself. Uh, am I a bad guy, Ben? These are, that I want one of these? I mean, just for the novelty, my not God, because I have a kid God. that's gonna be listening to this stuff. Um, No, like if you're an adult and you get this, cause it's like a silly prank. Like, I, I, I mean, I half expected this to be something that was like, oh, it must have been like, you know, something that you would get from like, uh, like, like a joke, you know, store, like a store that's like for like adults or whatever. And it's like, oh, it looks like a kid's thing, but it's like actually like telling these adult jokes, like, oh, that's so funny. Um, 
But it's not that, it's not anything close to that. It's just like meant to be like for kids and it's like, okay. Um, this is innovation under capitalism, everybody. Okay, this is what the free market is all about. Okay, because we don't want those liberals to police what our children. You know, I think the woke mob is going too far by saying that these jokes are inappropriate for children. You can like, always go that route, right? Always. Really? Copy and paste. Speaking of. There it is. I told you guys she's gonna laugh. She's gonna laugh. I told you guys. Uh, it's Anna Kasparian on the show today. Um, but no, the main thing here is one more part because Emily uh, produced put this whole story together. Um, and uh, there was one more theory that she did have because the back of the box apparently had a bit of broken English, and maybe the folks that are putting it all together maybe thought these jokes would be appropriate. This is one particular theory outside of the programmers one, but as they pointed out, you know, the lighting when playing music or sound, the lighting will have different method shining. It's not really fully a sentence, but music, complete children's song. Let the baby imitate in happiness. Close. And also joke, interesting story. It is helpful for the baby to learn cultural knowledge in play. Close. I mean, the jokes did make sense to folks that were listening to it. But again, see if you guys can find these on the Walmart shelves. Shoot one to me.